So today I thought I'd flex my intuitive muscles uh, to help me solve this impossible bottle puzzle. This is a phrenology head used to study the different parts of the brain. So hopefully today we'll be using this part of the brain here, which is intuitive reasoning and reflective faculties uh, paired up with this here, constructiveness, ingenuity, and dexterity. Now I've been able to solve a few puzzles on this channel and uh, with a little bit of time and a little bit of frustration and some swearing, we'll get there together. Today is a special puzzle indeed because the puzzle that I'm going to attempt to solve is closely related to something that I've had on my shelf for years. Let me take you back. In Western Canada, there's a magician and creator and writer by the name of Jamie D. Grant. He's also a paramedic, but he's also a writer for like Magic Magazine. Now Jamie's created a few magic tricks and puzzles that are available in the magic industry. However, one of them in particular is sort of, I would say is the most impossible object that I own. And it is the anything is possible bottle. What this is, is a completely sealed bottle all the way around. And inside this sealed milk bottle is a sealed, brand new, unopened deck of cards. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna, are gonna say, well, you know, he probably fused the bottle around the cards afterwards. Well, let me assure you that's not the case because the cellophane which holds the cards is made of very thin plastic. And if that bottle was heated up in any way, that plastic would melt. But the whole point of this bottle, and this is interesting, this isn't a puzzle, but it's a reminder that anything is possible. So it sits on your shelf, it looks nice, and it's just there to remind you that, yeah, this was done, this was made, and so anything, if this is possible, anything else should be. It's a great reminder, and it's kind of like a little bit of a brain teaser when looking at it. It's great to have on the shelf. I'll see if I can drop a link below for you guys if you're interested in that. But that's the anything is possible bottle. And, and, and since I've seen this bottle, I've always been fascinated with uh, bottle puzzles. And there are a lot of different ones around the world. People, uh, whether it's building pirate ships inside of a bottle or you know different objects. I just thought it was super interesting. By the way, here's here's also this bottle is quick story. This bottle is so interesting. I had some made by Jamie D. Grant, handmade for my deck of cards that I released. I sold them all but one, and somebody from China. So this bottle was sent out to China, and it came back to me saying the pack was open. And so upon quick inspection, the top of the deck, as you can see, is completely open. It was cut, was, it was, there was an incision made. And I asked the client, was this you? He swears it wasn't him. And I asked Jamie, is this, is this normal? And Jamie's like, that honestly has nothing to do with how these are made. And so the only other option there was that, this is interesting, the Chinese government or whoever worked at like the TSA over there wanted to inspect this to make sure there probably wasn't any paraphernalia hidden inside. I would have given anything to be a fly on the wall. But today, today, no, we're not gonna look at this. We're not gonna try and solve the anything is possible bottle, but I thought it was closer related to the bottle that we're going to solve. The bottle that we're gonna play with is this one. Basically what you're given here is a bottle and a, a wooden rod. On the inside of that wooden rod, you have a bolt and a nut holding that bolt there along with a little spherical sort of wooden ball and these things that kind of look like uh, lock picks. I love the way this looked on my shelf, so that's why I ordered it, but I also thought today I would attempt to see if I can do this uh, in one sitting for you guys. So without further ado, let's get into this puzzle. All right, gang, here we go. Solving this bottle puzzle. I guess the idea would be to unscrew this uh, this nut holding this bolt and then we can retract everything. Now I don't know if this puzzle necessarily requires me to put everything back together. However, that's something I'm going to attempt to do and hopefully I'll be able to get there. So one thing I noticed is that the ball that you see here is actually, it's hard to see with the refraction of the glass, but that ball is not completely round. And I'm pretty sure there's a reason for that ball not being round. Maybe this lock pick needs to link in there somehow. Let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, so I figured. Okay, I can probably use that ball as a wedge to sort of, as you can see, I can kind of wedge it against there and get that to turn. Um, so I'd have to turn it this way. The clinking sound is driving me nuts, by the way. Maybe the other side. Unless this is like a reverse rivet that they purposely put in there, which I wouldn't be surprised. If you check out the lock puzzle that I did, uh, they were pretty clever about that. I still have no idea what this, uh... oh, there it goes. Okay, I think we started turning it. Maybe I can wedge that ball in there somehow. 
Okay, it's turning. Am I tightening this at this point? I think I'm tightening it. Maybe I can use that um, metal lockpick thingy to just stop that ball from rolling around in there. That would be great. I'm gonna take a closer look at this rivet, make sure I'm doing it on the right side. Okay, so it would have to be that way. Okay. This is gonna take some patience and dexterity. No, don't turn back in. Ah, my hand's getting a cramp at this point. No. So the problem is I keep going over it, it keeps rolling over it, and then it screws right back. So I gotta watch out with that. <sighs> okay. I have a dreadful feeling that once I undo this, that putting it back together is going to be a nightmare. Oh my God. I'm getting carpal tunnel. It's turning, slowly but surely. Like the bolt has clearly come out a little bit since the beginning. I wonder if that lock pick has anything to do. I could probably make my life a thousand times easier at this point, but I feel like this is working, so I'm just gonna stick to this and grind it out. Probably not the best way to go about it, but. Oh, slow and steady wins the race. Look at this, I was forcing so hard before. But if I just, look at that, it's turning now. You know, you're playing with gravity, you're playing with dexterity, and you're also playing with patience. <laughs> it's very important. Like this, there we go. For some reason this is a, this might actually be the good method. Look at this, look how easy that turns around. Bam, <laughs> do you see that? That gentle pressure. I think we found the sweet spot. I think this is a sweet spot right here. Kind of like a little video game. All I'm missing is like laser sounds. Pew, 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 bloop, bloop. So I'm using that lock pick to sort of entrap this ball at a certain height, gently. Ah. Okay, come on. Woo! Ta-da! The ball was actually completely spherical and round. It doesn't look like it. I guess the refraction of the glass messed that up a bit. Now, for the part that I'm dreading the most, putting all this back the way I found it. Why are there two, so weird? This hole here is like on an angle. I have no idea why that is, by the way. You have a hole on an angle. It starts here and it goes through up here. Is that something to do with, uh, I don't know what I'm doing plop everything back in, I suppose. Uh, this is this is gonna be very difficult to get that in. I think that's the hardest part. Uh, it's gonna go in this way. Oh no, obviously that has to go in too. Oh my God, what have I got myself into? There's no way, there's no way. That bolt can't even straight, like it took me everything just to shake it out of there. With no friction or anything, like how, oh. Using the ball as a lever. Maybe. Get in there, oh, come on. See though, like how is that? Okay, we're almost there. No. Okay, everybody on one side. I bet if I had like a really powerful magnet, I could probably just like pull that up. But they haven't given me a magnet, so I'm not gonna use that. But that definitely would be a solution to this. How though? Can you imagine the time staking like labor that was put into this to make these? <laughs> Maybe I can leverage something under that bolt. So if I turn that bolt around, let's look at this in a more practical manner. I'm thinking I can use that little ball or bolt, the nut, to leverage this into that hole, creating like a little lever that I can push it into. So the idea is to get that ball, I think over here, that would probably be the best. If you can't tell by my frustration in my voice already, I'm getting annoyed. Patience is key, folks, patience is key. Okay, good, good, good. Yes, go underneath that bolt. 
Yes, okay. Ooh, oh, maybe that's what that groove is for. <gasps> that's what the groove is for. Would you look at that? Okay, so now I'm here. I'm thinking the next groove. Don't wanna lose where I'm at. Okay, let's, let's go back to the first groove. That was, that was good. Without moving the bottle, just the stick. I think we're getting it. Ooh, that's gotta be it. Nope, nope, slip it out. Get back in there. No. Oh. Okay, it's definitely in like to just fall in there. It's taken me everything just to get to this point. Okay, small victory, halfway there. Now it's just to, uh, all right, we've gotta get, we've gotta lodge that, okay. One thing I can't do is lose, lose that bolt. That bolt needs to be in there. This should be actually the easier part. So if I'm here, I wanna make sure the rivet's in there and it's not going in crooked. This isn't something you need to force, and that's something I figured out right now. Such an intriguing puzzle, though. Right, as you guys can see, it's slowly being riveted back into position with gentle strokes, like so. created this small little dip for it just to keep rolling back. Every time it rolls back, I just, I hit it again with the bolt like this. Let's tighten this all the way. And that's good enough. Ladies and gentlemen, the impossible bottle puzzle solved. And that is a total of 28 minutes from start to finish without any instructions. Go ahead and try it at home if you like. I'll left the link below and you can pick one of these up yourself. All right guys, a successful venture. I didn't think I'd be able to do it uh, this quickly. Uh, it honestly looked a lot more complicated than it was. You know, I, I think getting the bolt back in and, and everything is way more complicated than getting it out. But once you understand the principle, I think it's pretty, pretty easy. That being said, Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoy this channel. Subscribe if you're new here. Like this video if you did. Share it with your friends maybe. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace.